Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How you guys and girls are doing? I hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box for all the nice links. Also drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. Check out the top right eye as well for some more links. And I hope you're all staying safe during these corona times. So take it easy and keep watching these videos. So here we are. Uh, it's been a little while since I made one of these, honestly. So I was a little out of whack. But one thing that I wanted to do just quickly is to try to add some kind of a timer for this enemy spawn spawn system so in case you forgot how that works i just want to give you a quick quick rundown of how this works so we're in the tile map.cpp and of course here is where the spawning happens in the function update tiles so the idea is all these tiles are being updated continuously and when we're checking a specific tile if that is an enemy spawner tile during this update we're going to go into that and we're going to check if it has spawned something if it hasn't, we're going to create an enemy and we're going to set the spawn to true. So it's basics on off switch. And to switch this back to off somewhere, then it will spawn once more. Right. And we'll create another enemy here. Now we just have one enemy. The enemy system is creating. And the way that works is this spawner tile um, isn't directly connected to the enemy system or anything. But the enemy system is included in tile map. So if we go to enemy system. What that does, we can create, we can run this function, create enemy, and we can select the type we want to create, and through that it will create the actual enemy into this active enemies vector. And this active enemies vector keeps all the enemies that are right now, they're currently active. The idea later is to use different idle enemies and active enemies. So, but for now, we'll just keep it like this. Um, and then if we go to enemy spawner tile, we'll see that it doesn't really do anything much. It only has this switch here and it's switching and all that. But we do have one thing that we're going to use and that is our enemy time to spawn. And the enemy time to spawn is what we're going to play with. And we're going to be using a lot more of these SF clock variables. So I'm going to open up enemy spawner tile.h. I'm going to go to my enemy time to spawn and I'm going to change that to int SF int 32 because I want to keep this warning free as much as possible and int 32 is the one SFML uses and then we of course need to go to our constructor and we need to change that here as well okay go to your CPP file and change that here as well like this and then you should be pretty much good to go now what we need to do is we need to create the spawn timer and what that does is either we do it here or you can do it right up here you know what i can do it right up here instead i'm going to do sf clock enemy spawn timer so just know what the hell that is enemy spawn timer good and we don't have a initialize right now we do have our constructor so i'm just going to do that in the constructor i'm going to go down here i'm going to say this enemy spawn timer and this is in the cpp file for enemy spawner tile dot restart good this means we're going to restart that clock and let me just give you a quick rundown of the clock functionality in sfml so what it does is basically it, it has a function to go check your system time and when you create this it's not a complicated thing it's easy to think of this as something that runs continuously in the background it doesn't trust me what it does it it keeps it keeps a timestamp of when you restart it. So whenever I restart it, it will keep a timestamp of when you restarted it. And the next time you check it, it will check the system time again and see how long the time has elapsed. So think of this as a very efficient way to keep time. It doesn't continuously run. It keeps timestamps and it will compare that timestamp to anything else that you check or anytime you check the time. So remember that. That's why it's so easy to compare it with timer. And it's very accurate because it's checking system time directly in timestamp. So it's not completely dependent on frame rate and all that stuff. It's dependent on time. And which isn't always a good thing. But for us in this, in this sense, it will be fine. So <laughs> I don't really care about frame rate right now. Um, and I want that to be even. So the next step is going to be to we restart it as we run this. Now, the problem is if we go to tile map and we spawn something, we set it to spawn true. 
but we need to also restart that that timer. So let's create a little function for that. Set spawned, or we already have a function. So the set spawned sets the true. Then we're gonna say this spawn timer enemy spawn timer dot restart. Then we have a next step, which is to check the timer itself. So we'll create a little accessor here or a little function, which we will say is a Boolean. And we'll call it, actually make a const bool can spawn. Good. And this is just going to check if we can spawn our enemy or not. So it will check our timer. It will check our timer. Now the way we check our timer is very easy. If this enemy spawn timer dot get elapse time dot in as milliseconds, so we'll have milliseconds is greater or equal to this enemy spawn timer like that turn true good and if we want to do that's why I did this here I didn't just set this directly in the return statement I can do that but I want to do some other stuff here maybe later so that's why I'm gonna keep it like this good oh no not spawn timer spawn time to spawn time to spawn good so we're checking it and we'll return true if I want to do something else here I will later on but for now we'll keep it like this let's go to our tile tile map and we'll say get spawned and we'll say if it hasn't been spawned spawn this and set to true but now what we want to do is we want to update this in our update for the tile itself so go to the tile itself and this will take care of itself if this can spawn this spawned equals false so this will update and the way place this will update is in the tile map itself right here so this is what is updating the tile update the tile and here we have update tile types specific so very specific tile types are being updated here and anytime we can spawn we will spawn uh, and this will reset the spawn for our tile so let's run this am i recording while i'm checking this uh, we're saying new game and we have a lot of rats here spawning you can see it's going to start to lag all right guys i had i had a few issues so what we're going to do is we're going to go to our tile map cpp down to render here wherever we're rendering and we're going to start this collision box rendering again for tile map so i'm going to show you so you can do this yourself um so i don't do anything off camera so we're going to load our map and we'll see that we have two enemy spawners right here in the editor and what i'm going to do is i'm going to go and press page up so i come to the enemy spawner amount so one two three four five these buttons are going to change uh, your values so if i hold down left shift and press any of the buttons it will go minus so look at the enemy amount going plus and minus here depending on if i press left shift or not but we want to increase time to spawn we want to decrease that to about two seconds two or five seconds five seconds and i'm going to remove these two enemy spawners here and add new ones maybe one here maybe one here and five seconds is the time to spawn and i'm going to save this map quit press new game and i'll see some new enemies here and i'm going to kill this enemy if i can okay so we have a little issue where i can't really kill enemies and i'm going to try to explain why because this can happen to you in any other game so it's going in an order like this. I can kill this enemy, then this, and this one, then this one. And it's because of a special little issue that we're having. I spent some time debugging this and understand why. So we're going to start off by fixing a few things right here. We're going to go to our game state. Then go to your update combat function. Go ahead in here and see what's going on here. Everything seems to be fine except this attack timer thing. So I want you to remember this just real quickly. 
And then I want you to go up here to update combat and enemies. And I want you to check something else here. So we're going through all the enemies one by one. Okay. And first of all, we're going to fix something here. We're going to delete this enemy active enemies at position index here to make sure we don't have any memory leaks. And then we're going to erase that pointer right there, which is good. Uh, anyway, so once this is done, this is the first fix. Then we're going to check here. So we're updating combat right here for this specific enemy. So I'm going in here and I'm going to... I'm going to go to my enemy or update combat here. So we're going in here. We're checking. We're checking the attack timer. So we're checked it here. This runs no matter what if we press the mouse, left mouse button. So this specific enemy, we're saying we're pressing the left mouse button and nothing is really happening. So this, this mouse button click will happen, but the enemy is not there. But we're still checking the attack timer and that attack timer is going to be reset in the weapon function so if we go to this go to definition uh, for this one peak definition and we'll see that it's resetting it restarting it no matter what even if we didn't actually attack so one thing we can do here is we can actually take make sure that the enemy is within distance here and like that enemy is in distance and the enemy is, let's do it like this. This So this makes it sure we're clicking the left mouse button, the enemy is in distance and he is within the click. Then we will check the attack timer. And then after that, make sure you put one more of these uh, and remove, actually remove that. There we go. And then we'll do this. So this will make it a little easier, but it's checking each left mouse click. I don't really like that. Another thing we can do is divide it up into functions. So now I can kill this enemy. I can go kill this enemy if I want here. A new enemy is going to spawn. I can kill that enemy again. And kill this enemy, kill that enemy. So now it's a little more like it should be. This is how it should work. All right, guys. And this video is a little too long, so I'm going to end it here. But we're going to clean this up in the next one. Make a little nice stuff happen here. Also, maybe... Make sure that we can't spawn unlimited amount of enemies on this tile. We're going to check how many enemies should spawn on the tile and we'll spawn that many. So thanks for sticking with me. Thanks for watching. Check out the icon on the top right as well. You'll find a nice, a bunch of nice links in there and funny videos. Also, drop a like, subscribe, drop a comment as well if you like the, the content. And I'll see you in the next one. All right. Bye-bye.